pretend this flower is you. You've made it to like here, but you realize that you almost couldn't progress in a way that felt right until you did a little more digging. And then essentially through acknowledgement and through conscious effort and increased awareness, self-awareness and some growth and some healing, this is now how you look like after that healing process. You have come so far, you have achieved things, you have overcome things. Don't forget all the things that you've learned from, grown from. Remembering all of it is super important. Listen, if you take one single thing from me, let it be this. Your past has no business, none whatsoever, effing with your future. You should never forget it. You should process it. You should learn from it. You should heal from it. You should carry inspiration from it and it'll make you who you are, but your higher self, the visions and dreams that you have for yourself that are gonna require you to level up a little bit, to elevate a little bit, to grow a little bit, to learn a little bit, that's not gonna happen if you're giving your past way too much power. That'll be the ish that is setting you back years without you even realizing it. You're just the right journaling session, the right meditation hour, the right hike away from unearthing some deep truths. They're just gonna like hit you. It's like a brick of clarity. It just hits you in the head and you gain new perspective on things and you're able to correlate things and learn from them and improve and move forward. And you're gonna realize maybe that you start picking up the pace easier on that progress that lessons and clarity come a little quicker than the normal one day, that you have an increasing intolerance of or you know, decreasing tolerance for other people's mistakes that they may or may not regret or think about, for negativity, for things going wrong, when you understand that you have the power to make some things go right and that'll just put you in a different energy field and that energy field feels a lot better. It feels a lot lighter. You just feel better. Um, there's really nothing more powerful than that. And this is for any form of trauma or, you know, a bad past that you regret or something, or as simple as, you know, you evolving in your life and constantly being in motion versus getting stagnant. And just, you know, for people that just want to make sure that they're moving forward and learning things and, you know, again, evolving. It's not about, you know, focusing so much on this shouldn't have happened, whether it's something that you did or something someone else did. The more you dwell on this shouldn't have happened and you pity yourself and maybe you didn't get pity after a challenging situation. Maybe you went through something traumatic or something extra, extra, extra challenging for you that was unjust. You went through some form of injustice or something like that. It's not about invalidating your pain. It's learning how to live with it better and or move forward from it. And in doing so, things are just gonna get so much easier for you. Letting go, truly, truly letting go your attachments, your unhealthy attachments to so many different narratives and things and realize that you're probably the biggest person standing in your own way from anything and that you can and deserve to achieve anything and everything despite all your flaws. Oh my God, I have so many damn flaws. Wow, you have no idea or maybe you do, but I have a lot. <laughs> but even with that, there are many beautiful, unique qualities, maybe even admirable qualities that exist in conjunction with, or you know, somehow in alignment and balance with those darker parts of you or those weaker parts of you or those that you prefer are not as showcased as others, right? There's so much more to you than that. And the sooner you focus more attention on what you can do, the change that you can affect, the beautiful things things that you can choose to bring into your life, the beautiful narratives and beliefs about yourself that you choose to commit to, perspectives in your head, the open-minded parts of you, the parts that allow yourself to experience joy and peace and pleasure, the less you give into worry or doubt or insecurity or fear or regret, pain, the more you resist these things, the harder it is. You have to accept that all of these things are a part of life without being unloving and unkind toward yourself. That's important. But come to understand that as bad as that was or as bad as that still feels, that is not all there is to you or your story. How many things are you embracing or approaching in your life from a tainted perspective like a new opportunity arrives on your door or a new idea or a new person a new friend whatever it is and you are already receiving that 
in a way that is not conducive to your higher self or to your progress or growth or you're limiting yourself from extra opportunities basically and from just feeling more good feelings on a more regular basis without being swept away by you know inconveniences and then you get harder lessons and harder challenges but with each one you realize well i'm a little more equipped than the last time to bounce back from this and you actually embrace the parts of your past that allow you to continue growing and thriving and not repeating the same mistakes if you have truly learned that something was a mistake or just an unfortunate event, that's all it has to be. It doesn't have to grow from there. It doesn't have to become anything else. It is a fact of it happened. I made a mistake or that person made a mistake a long time ago. Do I want to keep carrying this? Do I want to keep moving forward with this? What is this offering me? I can learn what I need to learn from it, grieve what I need to grieve from it, and not entirely, right? but you learn to give it less space in your system overall and you make more space that way for other leading perspectives you know for other energies for for better feelings for better experiences dreams ideas opportunities the easier it is to slowly allow even more room for that and just do away with those you know negative narratives or feelings that have been collecting dust in the corner and effing things up for way too long so if you're anything like me or you understand what i'm saying or you can relate to it you know the internalization of these concepts is really the game changer i think i do hold on to resentment pretty well i think i really do but i understand that the more i let go of it the lighter i feel the lighter i become and i want the same for you dude how ironic that i'm talking about this and the first page that i opened in this book that was like just in the corner looking at me like, hey, you haven't opened me in a while. I was like, let me see what page I left off on. The first thing I'm reading, where I put my bookmark is, listen to this, you too, Aurora. When your personal energy is balanced and all the various parts of yourself are in tune, you are in harmony with yourself. That's harder to achieve than it sounds. We all possess traits that we dislike and wish we didn't have. It's important, however, to acknowledge those bits of your personality and spirit, for if you deny them, then you are attempting to reject a part of yourself and thus deny part of your own energy. This is The Green Witch by Aaron Murphy Hiscock, I think is how you pronounce it. Ignore my nails.